Hi, my name is Jimmy Williams with NFL Draft Diamonds. And I have a diamond in the rough for you guys to meet today. His name is Nolan Grooms. He is a quarterback out of Yale. Uh, nice to have you on, buddy. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. So a lot of great things happening for Yale. Uh, seemingly, you guys are uh, putting out some uh, good quality NFL caliber talent uh, these past you know few seasons, really. Um, and maybe perhaps you are the next one yourself. So um, did well this past season, uh, Ivy League champ, uh, player of the year, uh, and all of that good stuff. But um, mm -hmm. uh, before we get to all of the uh, accolades and whatnot, um, let's get at the beginning of all things. Uh, tell me where you're from yeah. and uh, walk us through this journey a little bit uh, there from the beginning. Yeah. Uh, so... For, you know, for the most part of my childhood, I grew up in a um, little town, Jessup, Georgia, um, southeast Georgia. I, you know, did my ninth grade year of high school down there in public school. Uh, my family moved to South Carolina going into my sophomore year. Um, and I somehow ended up at a boarding school here in Connecticut, a uh, really high academic place. And, uh, you know, I, I played football, basketball, and baseball there. Um, camped here at Yale after my sophomore season. You know, got offered. Um, they're my first offer. Fell in love with Coach Reno. Fell in love with the, you know, program, and that's how I ended up here. Um, been in Connecticut now for about seven years. So, well, uh, boarding school. I don't know how to feel about that one. I think I have uh, yeah. feelings all together. Um, yeah. it gives me like Harry Potter vibes. You know, where you like yeah. sent off and you know, go learn, uh, young one, uh, as to yeah. what it means to be an adult. So. Uh, neat. So, um, like you had mentioned, a, a football, basketball, baseball guy there at um, Taft School in Connecticut. Um, yeah. And uh, want to kind of touch base on some of those other sports really quick. I mean, certainly, yeah. um, obviously, you're a football player, but uh, once upon a time, you uh, were an athlete, a good athlete in high school. So, uh, yeah. basketball, baseball, um, talk to me about those sports, man. I mean, uh, what are, what are some things that you remember about them? Yeah. Um, you know, so I, I, I grew up, you know, in the summers, I played baseball every summer. Uh, basketball was probably honestly my first true love. Um, and, you know, I, in baseball, I was a lefty. So, you know, it sort of limited in positions you can play. I played center field and I, I was a pitcher uh, my whole life. And then in basketball, uh, I would like to say, I, you know, I, I, I I could shoot, but I really wasn't that good of a shooter, uh, especially as I as I got older. Uh, became, you know, defense rebounder type of guy. So uh, played those all throughout my high school, all four years of high school. And um, when I came to Yale, sort of decided to play football. No, I, I, I got you. So but on the basketball yeah. court, you're just uh, kind of good at running around in circles. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. You know, running around, playing, being athletic. Playing people away. <laughs> um, yeah. No, yeah. I, I get that. Yeah. Um, a pretty interesting baseball player again as a lefty um you yep. know i think very i mean it's, it's utilized obviously uh very often in baseball i mean uh coming out of taft school there in connecticut i mean was that ever uh maybe perhaps something that you might pursue at the collegiate level yeah um i i you know i had conversations with I, so one of my uh my, my high school catcher actually uh committed to, to play baseball um and once he got on campus, he kept telling coaches, you know, I I, I got a lefty kid. I, I played with him in high school. He's really good and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, I did think about it. It was a possibility. Uh, but the minute I, you know, I, the minute I spoke with Coach Reno, um, and it was clear, you know, football became my biggest priority and sort of took it and ran with it. No, I get that. I mean, you probably yeah. could have walked on, though, just said, hey, you know, yeah. uh, let me pitch a few um, and yeah. sort of yeah. uh, work with that. But yeah, I mean, yeah. dude, obviously you're a football player first and foremost. Uh, a lot of people know you as the quarterback there for Yale um, for the past several seasons. Um, and that's obviously the sport, the sport that you per, you know decide to pursue. So yeah. um, why is that? Why do you love this uh, game of football so much? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it started the second I was born. My, uh, my dad was a high school football coach in North Carolina and Georgia for, you know, 24, 25 years. Uh, so, you know, about my earliest childhood memories are running out of the tunnel, you know, with the high school team on Friday nights. Uh, really, you know, I football has 
and, and football has really just allowed me to go to so many cool places and see so many places, that, you know, throughout the 22 years I played it. Um, and, you know, I, I, I love, I remember, you know, I, my dad tells me all the time when I was six, seven years old, I was sitting there playing NCAA college football on the PlayStation. Uh, and I turned around, I told him I wanted to be a quarterback. So it, it sort of all started back then. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's the ultimate team game. So I fell in love with it and, you know, the bonds I've made with it throughout the, you know, especially here in my past four years of, you know, last my lifetime. Cool. So um, obviously landed at Yale, um, very uh, obviously a high academic institution, really one of the best in not only the country, but the world, let's be real. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, um, you know, coming out of uh, high school, was it always going to be Yale? I mean, did you have any other uh, possibilities in your recruiting or, or how'd that work? Yeah. Um, so, you, I, you know, Yale's my first offer. Uh, camp chair for my sophomore year. Um, coach Reno, you know, he's a, he's a really good recruiter, really good coach. Um, he's had a lot of success here. And my offensive coordinator at the time, uh, Kevin Cahill. Um, you know, I, I, once I got on campus, I, I kind of fell in love with it early. Um, and I, you know, I, to be honest with you, I tried to, I tried to hold out as long as I could. Uh, and eventually, you know, I, you know, I, I was at the TAF school and that place is pretty high, you know, high academic place. And I looked around and, you know, I'm, I, I probably had about 120 kids in my class and all those kids are competing for, you know, the Yale spot. Um, and I was just like, what am I doing? You know, I have a ticket to go to this place to play football and, uh, you know, ended up loving it. And I, I, com I committed, you know, right after my junior season. So um, ended up being probably the best decision I've ever made so far. So. Nice. Um, again, great yep. institution. Um, and you've been a quarterback there for uh, quite some time. So, yep. um, uh, talk to me a little bit about y'all's offense. I mean, um, how would you describe it for uh, perhaps people that uh, have yet have never seen you guys? Yeah. Uh, you know, I think we, especially, you know, as we sort of morphed, um, as I got older, you know, a lot. I mean, we did a lot of RPOs. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm an athletic guy. Um, so, you know, we, we did have Q, you know, quarterback design runs and stuff. Uh, but, you know, especially this past year, we really widened it out, you know, our receivers wide splits, want to wide the field and, you know, we were up tempo spread team. So, um, it's, it's, as the season went on this past year, you know, we really got in a group of things and really got hot towards the end of the season. Yeah. I mean, one thing that, uh, a lot of people, um, if they have seen you that they've recognized, uh, easily, uh, when they first watch you is, a uh, highly athletic guy and, uh, really does a great job in this, uh, whole RPO day of, uh, offenses. Uh, yeah. Nolan, I got to ask you, man, um, how do you execute that, uh, you know, read option to perfection? Like, how does that, uh, work? Uh, I mean, I, I, you know, a lot of people teach it, you know, read the outside part of the hip or the outside half of the knee. Um, for me, it's a, it's all just a field thing, honestly. Uh, you know, I've pulled it sometimes where I've had a complete give read and that guy bites late and it's just, it, it, it it's really instinctual. And um, I don't know, I think it's something I've, I've kind of been born with, but, um, you know, especially in the RPO world for us this past year, where I, I learned a ton from, you know, our, we had a new offensive coordinator this year, Chris Ostrowski. Um, I just learned a ton from him, you know, as far as box counts, getting us in the right play. You know, he, he really gave me a lot of freedom at the last scrimmage just this past year to get us in the right play and make things happen. I, I, you know, I got better and better with it as the season went on. So, yeah, I mean, certainly, uh, you know, throughout your career, um, you have been able to accumulate a lot of, uh, a lot of stats on the ground, uh, at, you know, yeah. 1800, uh, approximately 1800 rushing yeah. yards. Uh, throughout yeah. your your careers, uh, pretty nice uh, as a guy who's executing that read option, um, but can also spin it as well. So, um, yeah. what would you say is your bread and butter? What's one of your favorite plays to run out there? Uh, I shouldn't say to run, but to execute out there as a passer. Yeah, um, you know, I, I I've always prided myself on on being able to throw a good deep ball. Um, so, and, and we, you know, we've been able to run the ball really well these past couple of years. Uh, so, you know, we, anytime we had a play action shot, you know, I love throwing it. Um, we also had a play, uh, a quarters beater. 
Um, and I, 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 you know, I have my guy receiver Mason Tipton, um, uh, and yeah, I, I put it out, put the ball up for him on the post and he'd go get it. So. Cool. You had, uh, uh, obviously given a shout out to, uh, Mason, you know, obviously, you know, yeah. your go-to guy there as a receiver, really good guys there, uh, overall yeah. on your, uh, you know, on your offense. And I think a lot of people, um, if they know anybody there at Yale, they know that uh, really awesome uh, offensive lineman there that you guys got. Can you uh, mm-hmm. speak about him just a little bit and what he's meant, meant to y'all's program? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, Karam was a – he was a very – he was he was just a, play, a guy who sort of – I guess sort of leaked through the crack, you know, the recruiting cracks uh, coming out of high school. Uh, and he – you know, the moment he stepped on campus, there was just something different about him. You know, uh, you know he can he he bend. You know, he, the way he bent, like bends, the way he moves, the way you know the fast twitch muscles he has. Um, it was just impressive. You know, he started for us as a freshman, um, and he just he kept getting better and better and better. Um, and you know, especially this past year, you know, it's really, you know, he he got injured halfway through the season, but you know, if he doesn't get injured, he's he would he would have just kept getting better and better and better. Um, and I'm you know he's he's gonna perform up here at a pro day of a third. I'm pretty sure, and I'm excited for him to you know showcase sort of all of his talents. Um, and and, and just as you know, for a program standpoint, you know all the national attention and stuff. It, it, it's it's huge for our program and for the Ivy League. Um, you know these places are high academic you know high academic schools, but you know some good balls played here as well. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, some good guys on the offensive line, uh, you know, good, uh, you know, playmaker to throw to. And um, yeah. you guys did very well this season, actually past several seasons, you know, really, uh, really, you know, asserting yourself there in yeah. the Ivy League. So um, if you don't mind, uh, share with me <clears throat> one of your uh, favorite memories out there. Maybe walk me through like a, a, a play, maybe uh, – Maybe from the Harvard game or some other game, perhaps yeah. that uh, you know. Yeah. For you. Um. So I guess I, you know, I'll, 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 I guess I'll talk about you know two really awesome experiences I had. Um. So the the first, but you know, they're both this past season. Uh, the first being week nine, uh, we went up to Princeton, um, you know, in New Jersey for a little showdown with those guys. It was for both of us. It was a you know win or die situation, win or go home situation. Uh, game goes into double OT. Um, it, and, and, you know, their stadium, they, they have awesome facilities. Uh, there was a big crowd there. It was just really – and we ended up coming up, coming out on top. And, uh, you know, after that game, I just remember, you know, hugging my guy. You know, I've, I've talked about him, Mason. Uh, me and him are on the sideline watching our defense make a stand. And uh, it was just awesome. It was probably one of my – honestly, probably my favorite experience. Um and then, you know, week 10, we go into Harvard. Once again, for us, you know, it was a winner go home situation. Um, we're down in the fourth quarter, third down, and um, had a little one on one shot in the corner of the end zone to uh, number 10, Dave Pantelis, um, to go ahead. And our defense went out there and made another stop for us. And, you know, we won the Ivy League Championship. So awesome. Uh, certainly some great memories, uh, a lot of great. Uh teammates of yours, you know, just kind of, uh, you know, putting it all together there at the very end. Um, yeah. Nice, nice to be able to win, you know, to finish in style, at least this past season. So, yeah. Uh, Nolan uh, put together a solid uh, resume there at Yale and um, ended up getting an opportunity to participate in the <clears throat> Tropical Bowl this season. Um, uh, you mind chatting real quick about uh, your overall experience there, maybe what you got out of it or anything of that nature? Yeah. Um, so, you know, go, hey, going down to the Tropical Bowl, didn't, I, to be honest, I had no idea what to expect. Uh, I just knew I was going to go down there and, you know, compete, um, and, you know, see where you see where everything falls. Uh, and I went down there and I thought I put together, you know, really good showing um, in front of everyone. Um, ended up getting a start for my team uh, for the game. And, yeah, I mean, it, it, I, I think, honestly, it just it, it proved to like it, I was able to prove to myself that I belong, um, which was a, which was huge for me. And, um, you know, I had my guy, I had my same guy down there, Mason Tippin down there with me. Uh, it, it was just a really cool experience. My family was down there. 
um, you know, I, I, it's cool when you line up for the opening snap of the game and, you know, your center play, center's from Alabama, your two guards are from North Carolina, you look across from you, middle linebacker played at Arkansas. Uh, it was just, it, that was probably, it, it was just a really cool experience for me. I mean, yeah, it, it's nice to be able to say, you know, hey, look, uh, I got SEC on my left and right and in, in front of me. Yeah. I'm yeah. playing right along the side. <laughs> you know, definitely yeah. kind of neat. Um, so yeah. um, uh, while you were there, I mean, uh, did you have a moment perhaps with uh, some NFL scouts? I mean, you get some interviews in or what? Yeah, yeah. You had, um, I mean, I, you know, every night. So we had we had practice uh, every day, and then every night, you know, there were meetings with NFL scouts and NFL teams. You um, go down there, and you know, it was mainly introductory stuff. But sure, gotcha. Um, I don't uh, necessarily need to know all of the teams or whatever, but can you give me like a round figure as perhaps how many teams you actually talked to? Yeah, uh, while I was down there, I probably I, I probably talked to like four or five teams in total. That's still pretty solid, man. I mean, for yeah. some teams to yeah. have some interest in you. Um, yeah, it was cool. So, um, cool. So, great experience at the Tropical Bowl, going out there, starting, um, and really holding your own against some of the best. Um, and so, I guess the question now, Nolan, is um, what are you doing right now? What are you uh, – where yeah. are you training? <clears throat> um, you know, what are you doing? Where are you at? Who who are you with? I mean, and all that. So, um, enlighten me. Yeah. Yeah, so I um... – I'm, I'm currently so I, I graduated actually in December. Uh, I was a December graduate, um, and I'm I'm currently still here in New Haven, Connecticut. Um, you know, for for me, I felt like, you know, we have all we have everything you need here at Yale. Um, we have the facilities, we have all the technology, um, and we I, I felt like we just, we had everything I needed for me to be successful come pro day. Um, I'm I'm working with my quarterback coach. Uh, you know, we're throwing three, four times a week, um, speed training, lifting at night. So, you know, I think it's going really well. And, uh, you know, for me, it's just I, I want to put a you know, well-oiled product uh, out on the field at the pro day. Yeah, I mean, if, uh, if again, if anyone has seen you play, Nolan, um, one of the things that really pops is that you are a good athlete. I definitely feel like you're going to do very well with the running and the jumping and the, you know, change of direction, yep. all of that, those things are going to be uh, some great numbers. Um, and so mm -hmm. I got to ask, uh, you know, because some people might be curious, um, have you uh, received any sort of, uh, I don't know, guidance or whatever as to maybe perhaps uh, switching positions? Like, has that ever like come into play or would you be uh, willing to do that? I guess is um, the, the real question. Yeah. 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 Uh... No, you know, I haven't really, I haven't gotten any really, you know, guidance or push, you know, to go to a different position. Uh, I think if it came to it, I, you know, I, I'm willing to do anything to get a shot, honestly. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I grew up always being a quarterback. I want to prove that I can be a quarterback. And um, so, you know, I guess we'll just see what happens. Hey, I, I get it. Um, I yeah. obviously feel like uh, you could, if you wanted to, um, play a lot of different positions, uh, whether yeah. offense or defense, again, as a very athletic guy, but uh, certainly uh, you're trying to prove that you, you're, you've you been a quarterback for a while and let's just, you know, stick with what you know, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So yes, um, uh, when is that pro day again? Um, I know it's here very soon, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll be at, uh, I'll be at UConn March 20th. Um, and then we're hosting one here at Yale April 3rd. Cool. <clears throat> So uh, definitely something to look forward to. Um, two different, uh, two different pro days uh, for you. Yeah. So, um, sounds yeah. sounds awesome. Um, yes, I want to take a moment, uh, Nolan, real quick, just to see, dude, is, is there anything else about you that you feel people need to know? Um, who is the guy under the helmet? Um, what is he into? What does he like? Uh, his uh, his hobbies, his other interests. Uh, you have any special talents, you know, anything of yeah. that nature that people might find interesting. So uh, hit me with something. Uh, you know, I, I don't think I like, you know, I don't think I necessarily have a lot of hidden talents or whatever, but, uh, you know, I, I think just the biggest thing is, you know, I'm a uber competitive guy um, when it all boils down to it. Uh, off the field, I, off the field, you know, I seem very calm, relaxed, Um. But, you know, the moment I step on any field, you know, any field, any court, any, you know, either baseball diamond, um, 
no, I, I something switches, man. And they, you know, I, I feel like I feel like the field is my home, really. Um, and I, it, it really just comes from you know growing up around the game, the sport my whole life. Uh, football's all I've ever known, and you know, I'm gonna give it all I got. Cool. So being a pretty competitive guy, I mean, does that spill over into other things like, you know, video games, table games, board <laughs> games, card games, like? Uh, uh yeah, I, I I did play. I, I played video games growing up. Uh, me and my buddies always played Call of Duty. Um, you know, here at Yale, I'll, you know, play a lot of 2K, play a lot of Madden. With, you know, with some of my teammates, it gets pretty heated. But okay, okay. Um, uh, and um. Interesting, man. You you've kind of been uh in a few different places, uh you know, over your life, really. I mean, uh, yeah. where exactly do you call home? Uh, honestly, when people ask me, I I, I say, I I live in I live in Lake Wiley, South Carolina, which is where I currently live right now. Um, but you know, honestly, I I've, I've been up here in Connecticut for so long, really. You know, New Haven's kind of. I mean, I've been in New Haven for four and a half years now, so you know, New Haven's kind of my home um yeah, so, yeah. and I, that's that's i guess that's what i consider no that's, that's fine so um yeah. let's talk about new haven real quick like if I, if I were to come visit up there in new haven um where would i have to go what would i have to do uh i mean that I, I mean the biggest thing new haven's known for is pizza uh new haven style pizza it, it's known as the pizza capital of the world uh we have three places um you know you you, you got modern Pepe's and uh, Sally's that are all, you know, I guess r- renowned in the pizza world. Uh, and, you know, it, I mean, they are really good. My favorite person is modern. Um, but it, it's just a different style, uh, you know, coming from the South. I, I, I don't think I really ever had real like authentic Italian food until I came up here to Connecticut. So the food is definitely different, but I enjoy it. Cool. Um, I don't know if that's a part of your uh, uh normal nutrition plan right now. As you're training, <laughs> no, no, uh, no. no man, really. Like when you get a moment, uh, to yeah. splurge uh, a, a little bit, um, yeah. would definitely be nice to, uh, yes, to do that. So, yes, sir. Um, anything else about yourself that you want to share? I mean, um, again, you said that you're a graduate. So, um, what what did you finally graduate with? Yeah, I graduated with a uh, bachelor's in economics. Cool. So Sorry. once football is done sometime in the future, <laughs> where is yeah. that going to lead you? Uh, I, I, you know, to be honest with you, I have no idea. Um, a lot of our guys go in the banking world, in the finance world. Um, but, you know, I, I, for me, you know, I, I, I'm around the sport so much and I feel like I know so much about sport. I, you know, I've, I've contemplated staying in the sport in some capacity, so. You know, we'll see what uh, we'll see what happens. Um, so you see yourself maybe following into the footsteps with your dad and being a coach? Yeah, I I don't. Yeah, I maybe, and potentially. <laughs> you know, I, I I'm not really sure. Um, you well, know, like I said, a lot of I mean, a lot of our guys go in the banking world. A lot of our guys, you know, we do have we we got a good coaching tree as well coming out of here. But so, um, well, cool. You no, know, yeah. Well, see um, what happens. Nice to at, at least. Uh, I don't know, fool around with the idea just a little bit, but uh, yeah. Nolan, obviously right yeah. now you're training very hard. You get yourself prepared for your pro day. Um, and as we wrap things up, I want to give you an opportunity to really talk to all the other scouts out there, tell them what they'd be getting if they took a chance on you, and uh, go ahead and hit them with your pick. So uh, go for it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, I, you know I, I think the athleticism speaks for itself. Um, but, you know, I think the biggest thing I want to prove to people is, I I have the arm strength, uh, I have the accuracy, um, and you know if 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 I get into a building, uh, you know I'm gonna be the, I'm gonna be a hard work I'm gonna be a hard worker, um, I'm a smart guy, um, and, and and I think the biggest thing you know I'll be a good teammate, um, so I I'm willing to do whatever it takes and uh, I I just want to shot I want to shot to prove myself and um, you know it all starts with the pro day coming up. Gotcha. I mean, certainly a player who has shown efficiency, uh, you know, throughout your your time there at Yale. Um, and again, uh, we could just say that you are one of the best, uh, you know, athletes out of the Ivy League. I mean, heck, you did win the uh, offensive award of you know yeah. this past season, which is great. So, yep. um, cool. So uh, again, Nolan, appreciate all your time, and uh, wish you very best of luck in this process. 
I know it's not always easy and you got to, you know, keep going and and praying and uh, training and all that, but um, you take care. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. All right. Once again, I got Nolan Grooms, uh, quarterback out of Yale. Uh, Check him out.